Hey, I'm Jake Ryan from The Drive Home Show on Play 107, and it is reading week. I am gonna read you a book that I used to read when I was a little guy called Walt and Pepper. It's about a dog and a cat. First though, why is reading so important? Reading helps you discover yourself. It improves your focus and your concentration. It improves your emotional health. It enhances your memory. And it's a great source of motivation. It also expands what you know and makes you smarter. So next time you pick up a book, think about those things. Walt and Pepper by Liesl Wheel. Walt lives across the street from Pepper. Walt does not care for Pepper. And Pepper does not care for Walt one bit. It's my street, Walt thought. And he bared his teeth so Pepper could see. Pepper glared back at Walt. It's my street. And he showed his sharp nails. I'll chase you off my street, Walt growled. Right up a tree, so you can't get down, you big blob. <laughs> big blob, that's pretty funny. I'll chase you, you big good-for-nothing. Till you wished you were small enough to hide in a mouse hole, Pepper hissed. Just you wait, I'll bite your ear off. Walt snapped, looking mean as he could. Just watch yourself, I'll scratch you all over, Pepper hissed, <sighs> making his fur stand on end. Walt and Pepper certainly looked like enemies. Every day they made mean faces at each other. Every night, each would dream mean things about the other. One day, Walt was not at his window. He wasn't sitting there the next day either. The big good-for-nothing is hiding because he's afraid of me, Pepper thought to himself, very pleased. The next week, the window across the street stayed empty. Pepper strutted proudly back and forth on his windowsill. At last, the street was all his own. Just the same, Pepper got up early every day in case Walt did show up. He really should be glad and feel happy and merry. Yet, Pepper didn't. He didn't enjoy his favorite catnip anymore either. I don't know why Pepper looks so sad, the boy said. I don't know why Pepper is so listless, said his mother. All day long, Pepper dozed on his windowsill. He didn't even glance at his street, nor did he notice when a taxi cab stopped below his windowsill. People got out and lots of luggage was unloaded. The next morning, Pepper dragged himself up to his spot at the window. What else was there to do but snooze away another day? But who was waiting in the window across the way? There was Walt, wagging his tail wildly. It's my street, Walt growled over, making a funny face. It's my street, Pepper hissed back, <sighs> though it sounded more like a happy purr. Now they were friends just playing a game. Thanks for watching Walt and Pepper.